All right, here I am. I'm in my garage, yours truly. And I'm trying to organize all those tools. And online I was, I was looking at um, a couple different pictures of how people organize their garage and um, was the best way to do it. And from what I could tell, I found that just putting a, these are uh, two inch couplings, just putting them right down this two by four should be enough. And then I got a three inch one for any tools I got that might be bigger. Here's the one I had, which was garbage right there. It holds a few tools, but they're only hold by grav held by gravity. And the problem with that is if at any point it's too heavy or decides to slip, it's just going to fall right straight down. I don't want my kids getting hurt. So as you can see, I got a messy garage that I'm working on. I got to get this mess cleaned up. So starting with organizing my yard tools. And here's going to be my yard and garden tool wall right here. I'll show you how it looks when I'm done. Oh, and what I'm going to do, I took a 2x4 and I just drilled a pilot hole and then a 2.5 inch screw through this 2x4 at each stud. And I'll do another one on the bottom. Each one of these will actually be for one tool. It'll grab the middle of the tool and this will hold the bottom to hold it in place. And I'll do that on the top and the bottom so they'll be secure. So show you what it looks like all right in order to get these two inch couplings up there on that two by four what I got to do is I got to drill an angled pilot hole I'm going just above top center all I'm doing if I can do this while I'm recording see how well this works out Um, I decided to have the barcode on the back, so I'm just going to drill right about there. I'm going to go straight through. And then I'm going to, I don't know if you can see this or not, but yeah, there we go. Because I'm straight, i got to angle it because my screw is going to be coming down on an angle, so this is what I'm doing. That will allow me to put a screw down from the angle that I just drilled it without any problems. If you don't do that, you're not going to get your screw in. Alright, I got all my pilot holes screwed in there and on my big ones. They're all at an angle so I can put them up there on that 2x4 and hold them properly and screw the screws in easily enough. I put another 2x4 up here. This is just actually laying there right now. I drilled uh, a couple pilot holes on the end. And then I'm going to actually, I'm going to space this out with just another screw here. I'll show you why in just a minute. That should be enough. Put that in there. That's good enough for that. Grab another screw. Actually, two of them. Come down to this end, and granted, I don't have the straightest two by four on this one. It would help if you had straight boards to begin with, but I don't, so this is gonna mess me up a little bit. Anyways, I'll put another screw back there just to gap it. Probably see that it's, it's gapped out. It overlaps just a little bit. There's a there's a method to my madness. Put this in. Good enough. So the reason I just did that was because 
I would like all of these to be straight across rather than jumping up and down when I screw them in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab one of these and that will act as my guide, that top 2x4 when I'm screwing them in. Oh, before I even start screwing them, i got to measure that out. got 8 2 inch couplings, uh, 2 3 inch couplings for the top and the bottom. So that's actually 10 and I got to take this 8 foot divided by 10, mark it out and then that's where all those are going to be so it's nice and even all the way across. So I'll see if that works out here in just a minute. And there's the finished product. Nothing to it. Everything went so Anyways. <laughs>